Hi, my name is Jeff Olofsson. I'm the Assistant Archivist for the Maritime Museum of BC. And today we're looking back at our astrolabe. I'm going to give you a rundown of generally how it works. And first I'll go into all the different parts of it. So at the top, we have the ring, also known as the halka, um, in Arabic. Uh, and you would hold it up at eye level. Uh, and it would be uh, level, because it would be very difficult to keep it level with your hands. And this ring is attached to the kursi, or what's called in the European world, the throne, um, which is again connected to um, the um, or the matar in Latin, which means mother. And, that kind of, and the mother can hold all of the discs and plates together. So they would have about up to five engraved discs that represent the universe that could be interchanged based on where you were. Uh, and then here, this spinning desk with decorations is um, known as the al Aktu or the spider. Um, and this revolves uh, with the, the ruler here. Typically, the ruler would actually be located on the back as well, it would have uh, a line of sight that you could gauge uh, the direction of the sun with, very much like how a set modern sextant works, uh, and that would be held together with uh, the ferras, or the pin right here. We have a very decorative pin on this. Um, uh, now, a colleague of ours actually speaks Arabic, uh, and we sent him a photo, and he was able to decipher us a couple words, one being revolution and the other being wife, which uh, I found very curious uh, until I realized um, that uh, it wasn't referring to any kind of social or political revolution, but rather a hor horological revolution in the way that it revolves. Uh, and that wife most likely referred to the matter here and was lost in translation uh, as often um, in Latin especially, uh, words for mother and wife can be interchanged.